if there is a constant feeling of our rock and unreasonable loss of strength that does not go away even after a long sleep. When you don't want to get out of bed in the morning, you don't have the strength not only for everyday activities, but even for your favorite activities, and you have headache and other pain, it is chronic fatigue. Physiological fatigue is manifested by subjective feelings of weakness, lethargy, decreased performance and depending on the nature of the work performed is divided into physical, mental and sensory. Physical fatigue develops in the motor centers of the brain is characterized by decrease in physical performance and changes in the functional state of the predominantly cardiovascular, respiratory and muscular system. Mental fatigue is caused by violation of the mobility of nervous processes, a weakening of active internal inhibition in the associative zones of the cerebral cortex in the frontal and temporal regions of the dominant hemisphere associated with speech centers and is accompanied by decrease in mental performance indicators, decrease in emotional tone, attention, interest in work, change in the functional state of the autonomic nervous system. Sensory fatigue more often visual, less often auditory, is manifested by decrease in excitability in the corresponding cortical representations of sensory systems and a deterioration in sensory functions. The main difference between chronic fatigue and overwork is that long rest does not bring improvement. The main causes of chronic fatigue is prolonged emotional and physical stress. Hormonal imbalance, the main symptoms of chronic fatigue are headache, weakness, distraction, anxiety, irritability, depressive mood, pain in muscles and joints, tremor and the most important sign. The symptoms do not disappear even after 12 hours of sleeping. In this case, you must consult a doctor. Chronic fatigue syndrome is accompanied by decrease in the body's defenses. This can result in numerous viral diseases and exacerbation of chronic diseases. In addition, a long-term decline in performance makes a person change his usual way of life. He does not cope with his duties, which creates problems at work and in the family. The main symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome are 
exhausting fatigue. We are not talking about the tiredness that every person experiences after a hard day at work. Physical activity quarrels, the feeling that you have unloaded the car, although you just got out of bed after a good sleep, which accompanies you for a long time. We are talking about it. You find it difficult to do the most basic things that are usually given without much effort. For example, it is even difficult for you to sit. People with chronic fatigue syndrome can sleep for 12 hours a night, but wake up feeling like they haven't closed their eyes. And this is not the sum as insomnia of frequent awakenings. This condition has a name non-restorative sleep. Very often there are cognitive impairments and the heart seems to work slowly. This is characterized by problems with information processing. A person can process information but does it very slowly. People with chronic fatigue syndrome may also have problems with short-term memory, focus, problem-solving and planning. All this leads to the fact that patients cannot fully work and be in some social situations. Dizziness is also common. It can be felt even while standing. You can just take a shower, when suddenly there will be severe dizziness. In this case, it is better to lie down. Dizziness is associated with the negative effects of chronic fatigue on the automatic nervous system, which is part of the nervous system. It controls all actions that occur automatically, including vascular tone and blood circulation and causes vasospasm. Chronic fatigue causes the appearance of a congestive focus in the cerebral cortex and subcortical structures, which causes all these negative sensations. My technique is very effective in the cases of chronic fatigue syndrome and any psychosomatics. I invite you to my online therapy.